gathering at the Brown County Sheriff's Office in hopes of soon finding their lost loved ones. It's all a part of Missing Persons Awareness Month. Mo Hyder spoke with the organizer of the event and brings us a story. State databases show there's over 100 missing people in just Wisconsin alone. And the family organizing this event says they don't want that number going up. My life forever changed on April 25th, 2013. Four and years later, so and Marsha Lawrence still has so many questions. I wondered how she could be possibly missing. How is this possible? How does someone go missing? Hoping she'll finally see her mother, Victoria Prokopovitz. Now she missed my son graduating high school. She missed my nieces graduating high school. My youngest will graduate high school. She's missed such big important things in our life. Now her goal is to help others find their loved ones. These people do not have a voice and they are depending on us to raise our voice for them. With the help of Governor Walker, April is designated as Missing Persons Awareness Month. On Saturday, an event was held to raise money for billboards to help spread the word. There are some people that are missing that have been missing for a while and maybe haven't had the exposure. Like Lori Ainert, whose niece has been missing for two decades. You know, the awareness is more and more every year, which is great. You know, the word is spreading, so that's, that's good. She and others say at this point they're just looking for closure. We really, we just want to know what happened and where she is. To close out the day, families of these missing people release these balloons with their loved one's name, hoping someone can give them that peace of mind. Marsha, the organizer of today's event, says there are seven billboards put up around Northeast Wisconsin already. She's confident after today's event, you'll see some more go up as well. Reporting at the Brown County Sheriff's Department, Mo Hyder, NBC 26.